Here's Becky Hammond after the game. They played harder, for one. Um, I felt like we were on our heels from the jump, so just the aggressive factor. It's a feat to beat any team three times in a row. We knew they weren't gonna go away. We know they're good in this building, and they played better than us tonight, flat out. Played more aggressive, more physical, and shot it better. How important has Chelsea been in this matchup for you guys? What do you mean how important? She's our point guard. She's our, she's our leader. So come on now, Andy, you know the answer to that. Chelsea's very important to us. I don't think there's any one person that's gonna step up and, and fill her shoes. No one person's gonna replace her. You know, you just, everybody steps up and does a little bit more. We now say hello to our Hall of Famer, Holly Rowe, who was on the sidelines for this game. Holly, what more can you tell us about Chelsea Gray's injury and how long she could be sidelined here? From sources that I've spoken to in the Aces camp, they are concerned that this is a significant left foot injury for mm. Chelsea Gray and her status for game four in New York on Wednesday is very questionable. We will find more at their practice tomorrow. The Aces are still evaluating her to see how severe this injury is, but things do not sound good at this time. I can't impress upon our viewers enough how significant this is for the Las Vegas Aces. They already mm -hmm. have a very thin bench. And Chelsea Gray has been the most important player to their championship run last year and this year. She was the most outstanding player of last year's finals, and she has assisted or scored on 34% of their plays this season. You can see her. It didn't look like much, but she was not able to put much pressure at all on that left foot. And um, this will be a huge blow to the Aces. Consider their bench is already very short. And there you see 34% of their points are assisted on or scored by Chelsea Gray. She's only missed one other game under Becky Hammond. So this will be a significant adjustment for the Aces. They will have to lean heavily on guards Kelsey Plum and Jackie Young. We would expect they would likely start Alicia Clark in her place. So this is a big adjustment. And one mm -hmm. other thing I wanted to bring up. Chelsea Gray is shooting 73% in the clutch of games. She is their player that when they need a basket, she's the one that can deliver. When they were walking off the floor after that loss last night, I did see Asia Wilson gather her entire team together, have some passionate words. I know they will try to rally behind whatever happens with Chelsea Gray, but this is a significant loss. Yeah, chatting with Becky Hammond, it certainly seems like they have this next woman up mentality, but this could be a game changer, a series changer. Holly Rowe, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time. We will see you on the game broadcast on Wednesday. Thank you. So losing Gray, it would particularly hurt because of how much the Aces actually rely on their top six players in the rotation. As you can see here, this postseason, only five players are averaging more than three points per game. Only six players average more than seven minutes per game. So back with our panel, including, as promised, Sinead McKay, who is in New York covering the W Finals. Sinead, what is the impact of this loss of Chelsea Gray? It's seismic for the Las Vegas Aces, and I know that's hard to comprehend because they're a team full of talent, but she's the engine that makes all of their plays not audible. Like, you can go out there and just hoop. You can't scout that. I played, and I played with and I played against Chelsea, and she is by far the championship piece. You heard it from Holly. I mean, reigning finals MVP. But the reality is, is when the game comes on the line, which it is going to come to in this series, especially yeah. with how things have transpired, she said it. 74% in clutch time this this regular season. But most importantly, she's had zero turnovers in Ooh. clutch time over the entire regular season. She's just unimaginable when it comes to late in games. The rest of the squad is definitely going to have to try to make up what she has brought, but it's going to be a very tall task. You know, I'm with you, Janae. I, I feel that this is a huge deal, potentially series shifting mm. for the Las Vegas Aces. Um, this is arguably the most important player for the Aces in Chelsea Gray. I mean, Asia Wilson is their MVP, but Chelsea Gray makes this thing go. You'll see her in huddles, often speaking to the team. She's bringing the IQ. She's the play and shot creation. She's clutch. She also understands when it's her turn to create these shots. How do you replace that? You, you can't, as Becky Hammond said, but I do anticipate seeing Kelsey Plum uh, get more opportunities as the lead guard in a point guard situation. She's a very capable playmaker, but Kelsey Plum has been fantastic and terrific in this series, and particularly in these finals, hunting her shot as a scorer. 
So suddenly to take and change that mentality for her and change the amount of responsibilities that she has out there could be a huge shift and really change things up in an awkward dynamic for the team. Yeah, and this goes back. To, this is who Chelsea Gray has always been. Mm. When the Sparks won a title, this is what Chelsea Gray did. When, when they won last year, Chelsea Gray was the point god out there. This is when Chris Paul's sitting back watching the game going, Chelsea Gray is the point god of the, of the WNBA. I mean, she is that important at what they do. And every time I watch them play, I'm always, there's always three plays a game where Chelsea Gray makes it and sets everybody up and you go, nobody else can make that play. Right. And so to lose her for any, for any part of this series really changes the dynamic. But I think this is why when, when Becky Hammond was talking, and, and you, they were down in that post-game press, it's not just because they lost the game, but I think they had a feeling that they may be without her for, for the rest of the series or at least for the next game. And you could, you could see them kind of shifting into how are we going to get this done. And yep. that's why when you're up 2-0, and you come out and you and the team there was a close game in the first half right this was a they they had a chance to to step on them and to win this and to sweep this series that's why that matters right but we, there's the adage that unless you yeah. until you went on the road this isn't really a series that's and right. now that that is what the the liberty are attempting to stop here Chanae, is it too much to say that the momentum of this series between the injury and the liberty getting on the board here has the momentum of this series shifted Look, Malika, when I landed in New York City, the <laughs> forecast was rainy, it was drizzly, of course I didn't have an umbrella, but that's exactly what the New York Liberty did. They made it rain. That is their true identity. They knocked down three-point shots. I'm talking about a team that led the league and made threes. John Quell Jones had four. If you had to vote for an MVP of the New York Liberty so far, it's that woman right there who has been an MVP in this league. I mean, th dropping dimes. She had four threes. Six different players hit a three. They share the ball unconscionably. So that's why the Liberty were back in it from the jump, from mm. the tip.